All right, so next up is packaging. How many of you guys are selling a package that isn't multiple services? Like you're selling a package that is Google Ads, or you're selling a package that is leads, or you're selling a package that is uh, local SEO, or you're selling a package that is reputation, right? If that's you, type in single. I'm really curious, I want your feedback. If you're selling a package that is like multiple of those together, type in bundle. So if you're just selling reputation, type in single. If you're selling SEO as a package and PPC and reputation, type in bundle. So you're selling single product services as a package or just one product. Bundle. There we go. All right, fantastic. So those of you guys only selling singles, you guys are gonna run into some problems. All right, so when it comes into packaging, um, my thought process here and the filter that I use is, the first filter is what's going to get the best results, uh, sorry, what's going to get the uh, most immediate results for the client, okay? So what matters the most when you kick off the relationship? This does. Good communication, that's all given, a pleasant onboarding experience, but they wanna see that you're worth a damn, right? Show me some type of results. So what happens when you sell SEO and Google My Business as a package, as an example? You don't get the client immediate results. So what happens? They're frantically, even when you say it's gonna take three to six months to get you results, they're knocking on your door at month two and a half going, huh, hey Joe, uh, how's it going? Uh, huh. They're frantic, right? What do I do? Is it working? Right, when am I gonna get my return? Why isn't it happening sooner? Are we okay? Do I need to fire you? What happens next? You guys have all been there. Exclamation point city in the chat right now, right? The next thing, well, let's, let's talk about this. So when you sell local SEO or something that takes three or six months, we just talked about the ramifications of that. Very uneasy clients. Um, the thing that happens though when you sell, let's say, pay-per-click clients is the opposite. They're okay at the beginning. Great job, you're bringing in leads. Then in month three or four, they're like, hey, are the costs and the ROI, are the costs gonna keep going down and is the ROI gonna keep going up? And some of you guys may not be getting that messaging. Some of you guys is like, man, I'm just not getting the return that I want or I wanna cancel. But when you really dig deep, it's that their return on investment isn't what they think it should be. And it could be that they're getting a 2X or a 3X return on ad spend or even more, but that's not their expectation. And even if you sell against what their expectation should be, and you get them to believe that, you're still gonna end up with kind of buyer's remorse at the three to six month mark, depending on how good you are, right? Where they're starting to feel like there's gotta be a better solution out there. Give me an exclamation point if that hit you right between the eyeballs. You've been there, you've experienced this. So, my first question when I think about packaging is what's gonna get immediate results for the client? My second question is what's going to get the best, and let's capitalize best here, ROI for the client? So when I'm thinking about packaging, we're, we're gonna have to trademark this. I'm thinking about the yin, the ying, and I'm thinking about the yang. Right? What's gonna get the best immediate results for the client and what's gonna get the long-term ROI for the client? Because I want the customer sticking around long-term, okay? I don't want the customer coming to me at six months in or four months in and wanting to cancel. Even if I can save the deal, I don't want that happening. Does that make sense? So I wanna plan for that. I wanna build a package that prevents that from ever happening. In fact, folks, I stage out quite literally has staged out 12 months of fulfillment and client updates for my packaging.
Do you guys know the number one reason why someone leaves an agency? Why a business owner stops working with an agency? What's the number one reason? Number one reason, folks, is simple. Indifference. It's them asking, what has Joe done for me lately? Yeah, I know that he helped me right out of the gate. He freaking crushed it. Or, hey, it was a little slow to start, but then the SEO kicked in, and now we're getting a great return. But, hey, like, you know, I, I'm not really seeing that ramp up. I'm not really seeing anything happening. You know, my, my communication from Joe isn't that great. What's he doing for me lately, right? Is he on the bleeding edge? Does he really have my best interests at mind? Like, why haven't I heard from him? Why is he not doing anything new? I never want that to happen with a customer. And at the end of the day, it happens quite literally every single day in a business owner's mind is that point of indifference with an agency. So I believe that if you really think through your packaging, like I have, right? And you stage out and you set out 12 months of fulfillment and client updates that are pre-canned and ready to go, you can avoid most of those points of indifference. What this also does is helps you ensure that your margin stays good. So in this exercise with packaging, I will quite literally write out, this is what we're doing, this is who's gonna do it, and an internal member or somebody else, uh, an outsourcer, somebody that I'm out tasking to, it could be Fiverr, it could be localcitationservices.com, it could be Bright Local, it could be whatever. And I'm writing out line by line what I'm doing, in what week and what timeline, right? Who's doing it and then the cost. And I'm able to look at month one, here's my profit margin, month two, here's my profit margin, and I'm able to ensure that my profit margin is at least 75% and your profit margin should be too. And if they're not at least 75%, it's because you haven't done the things that we've already talked about. It's because you haven't picked a niche, it's because you keep jumping from niche to niche so the work keeps changing right? Um, it's because you haven't filtered down and gotten really tight on your criteria. It's because you haven't went through and staged out 12 months of fulfillment, your client updates and your deliverables, right? So you just need to sit down and think through it and stop winging it each and every month. So when it comes to packaging, this is it, okay? My minimum, my minimum to get started in terms of packaging is $1,000 a month. And when I sell at $1,000 a month, when I sell my first two or three clients, I'm not gonna get my big time goal. So this is, this is short term to build case studies. And it's not just to build case studies, but the goal of these customers are like, these should never leave you. These are the people that understand that ultimately your goal is that you are going after three to $5,000 a month customers long-term. And that they're never gonna have to pay that. And so they'll never leave. So don't hide the fact that you're a newbie in an industry, right? When you're making a sales pitch and you're like, I'm brand new, just say that you're brand new, right? But share that with them, your plan. There's no reason to hide it. You don't have to feel like you're pulling the wool over somebody's eyes, but this is where you should be long-term. So for me, it's all about pulling on three to four clients at $1,000 a month, right? And then after that, right, using those to leverage into packaging at three to five grand a month, again, with a 75% profit margin. Whoop. So, Typically folks, I am doing like lots of different services, but I'm not doing those services all at once. It's not like they come on month one and it's like, hey, we need Google ads, we need remarketing or retargeting, we need SEO, we need a Google local, my business build out, we need citations, we need reputation, we need a bot, we need this, that, the other, we need a website redesign, like no. It's all staged out again. And right now I'm at 12 months. 